Hello everyone, welcome back to my channel. My name is Anna, and today we're going to be doing a book scavenger hunt. Let's get going. So, I actually found a scavenger hunt on Bookstagram. I can't remember who started it is. I will try to find it, and then I will link it down below so you guys can check it out. But, let's get going. So, my first question has a color in the title. And for this one, that one I chose Red, White, Royal, Blue. I forget what this book is, but it has been bought a while. Ooh, I have a receipt. Let's, let me, let's see when we bought it. 2019, May 26. Now that's when I bought this book. It has been about three years then. Four. So, years. <laughs> if we don't count 2023, because it just started. So, yeah. Red, white, royal, blue. I heard it's, I have really good things about this one. So, I think it's time that I will read this book sometime soon. So it is Carval by Sarah Ellen. This is actually a retail of The Little Mermaid. It's really dark and has really sensitive topic. So do be careful if you want to read this. Uh, it just talks about depression and the other one that I can't say because YouTube will demonetize. But it's a really heavy uh, subject, so do be careful if you want to read The Little Mummy Retail. Other one is The Lady Rogue by Jen Bennett. And this is like uh, about Vlad the Impala and how it was like a random piece of jewelry that she found. I read this a long time ago, so I don't really remember what it's about. But basically there's this ring that has an occult talisman. Forged from the Tillian medieval organization known as the Order of the Dragon, and it was rumored to imbue its wearer with a dark magical power, cursed. If one believed there was any grain of truth in the stories that surrounded it and its most notorious owner, Vlad the Impaler, Prince of Romania, better known as Vlad Dracula. So, this is also a retail of the Dracula, Vlad the Impaler. So, um, yeah. So, my next question is, ha a person on the cover? That one, we have red, white, royal, blue, as you can see, the two people. And my next one is Dawn of the Moon Goddess. This is a retail of the Shang-Ni, who is the Moon Goddess, and we're following Dawn of the Moon Goddess. And my next one is The Sun Bearer Trial by Aiden Thomas. I actually already read this. We are, it's like a... Hunger Game competition where we have 10 semi-dioses, I think that was the was, and they have to compete. The winner, if there is a winner, they get the highest honor, which to be sacrificed, um, which is to be going in going travels for like a land of the soul, but the loser has the greatest sacrifice of all. So, yeah, and then we have this one person who is in gold, and he is in Jade. So this Jade which is, I forget his name, Theo. Theo is a J, but he also gets into this competition by accident, I think it was. And so, and now he must compete to survive. And yeah. My next question is a little with exactly four words. This one took a while, so be prepared. And I have King Kingdom of the Cursed. So, this is the sequel of Kingdom of the Wicked. I guess I can also use that one. And basically we're just continuing... King was it Kingdom of the Cursed? Oh shit. This is the sequel. Yes, this is the sequel. Oh my gosh. Kingdom of the Feared is the last book in this trilogy. Also, she is coming out with the... I think it was like a series of Prince Envy or something like that. So it is an adult series, not so mean at your own risk. And my next one is a one word book title. And that is Fox by Nadine Blandes. And this is a story, a retail story about Guy Fox. And it was pretty interesting. From what I can remember, there's this stone plaque that where people turns into stone. And for like the main character who has the stone plaque. And we're seeing how he has a plan to destroy the king, to assassinate the king of England. So, it was actually a pretty interesting read. So, 
She also has Anastasia, um, which is called a Lomanov, so it's an Anastasia retail as well. And she also, I think this recently came out, Wistress, which I have yet to read, so, yeah. So, this is probably the ones where I'm gonna have a long list because of the question itself. But, um, a book you haven't read yet. So, it does take a book, but why not let just let it roll out, as we say. I actually never let it down, so, um, otherwise this will probably be like a 20 minute video of my books that I haven't read yet. Although, I should make a video out of that. But anyways, my first one is Daughters of the Dawn by Serena and Sasha Nanua. This is the sequel and the finale of Sisters of the Snakes, and we are following when this is Ancient Enemy Rises and Eternal Night Looms, and a dark prophecy foretells an impossible choice in which only one sister will be left standing. It's also really, really pretty. Like, look at that. Oh, we kind of match. Ta da! I'm in Slim Deep, I did Natasha Bowen. And this is the sequel and the finale of Skin of the Deep. It's a retail of the Lemon Mermaid, I think. I'm, and so it's just continuing from where Skin of the Deep has been wrapped off. That cliffhanger, OMG, which is funny because I don't think I would pick up this book, but I did. And look at this cover, it's so gorgeous. Next one is Mistress by Nandine Brandes. And we're basically having a girl who has the power of the tears. The tears can grant you any wish. And, and that's a whole story because then everyone wants the powers that she has. So she has to be careful not to cry. A quick search by the way, no clipstone. And I have no idea what this is about. But by the way, the thing would do anything to protect her younger brother, Evan. Black by nightmares, he possesses forbidden black magic that spills from his fingers as shadows. One in Antonius Warren Sullivan, known as the monster of Lake Edge, discovers Adam magic and let the fears the worst. She saw she shot from Roman instead presence and whiskey off him. Refuge at the Lake's Edge estate in exchange for Aaron's powers. This kind of reminds me of Phantom of the Opera. The final is Song of Silver Flame Like Night by Emilia Renzia. And this says once Lan had a different name, now she goes by they won the Atlantean colonizer Eva when they invaded her kingdom, killed her mother, and outlawed her people's magic. She spends she spends her nights as a song girl in Hag's home, as soon as transformed into conquerors, and her thing is scavenging for what she can find of the past. Anything to understand, the strange muck burned into her arm by her mother in her last act before she died. So this sounds really, really cool. Final question is my five star read. And this is The Men Palace by Jean Earn. And we're following Hyun, who is a palace nurse, but she, she gets entangled in a murder investigation. She is trying to find a killer who has killed four nuns. For nurses in the palace, and she, I hope she is also trying to save her, I think it was like a mentor, Nurse Jiyeon Sun. So, and then she finds Yeon Jin, who also has a mysterious side to him as well. So, I love this. It all seems really like a K drama. So, maybe that's why I love it because I also watch K drama, and it's also a historical fiction. So that's really, really nice. The next one is Power Lady Fortune by Chloe Gong. I did annotate a little bit of this. And we're following Rosalind, who is just like three years after the after the original trilogy. And we're just following Rosalind's side of the story, how she's an Asian and she can't die because she's an immortal. And she gets entangled with Orion and together they must find a way to stop a certain evil. So I really love this. I thought it was great. I thought the writing was beautiful. I love the character. So Rosalind was my favorite. So it was just an interesting plot. And then Dark and Sweet by Judy Ireland. This is the duology of a magic stupid poison and 
I believe that there has a big evil has come to the King of Bakshi. The banishment has returned to see his power, and his rise to the dragon throne aided by the mass poisonings that have kept people bound in fear and distrust. So I thought that was not a great read. I love the character. I think I was more interested in Nate. I thought her style of stone was more interesting than Kong. I think that was also his name. It was Kong. <laughs> but yeah, otherwise I will love this. I thought it was great. Finally, my five star read is The Inheritance of Awkward Fear and Dominion by Zarane Cordova. So I love this. And also I also find out that I'm a weirdo. Like I like weird books, I guess. So this is just following the path of Awkward Fear and Dominion who knows she is dying and she calls her and granddaughters, I think it was. I think it was like the granddaughters or something, like that. I can't remember exactly, but basically they have to take care of this home while you figure it out what awkward the Indominia wants. And then these kids, and then these people, Mari Mad, Mayim Yanon, has an expected blessing on the powers. But soon then there's like a hidden figure that begins to clear through the family tree one by one. And so that they can, so that that person can destroy all the dominions mine. So, I love this. The writing was beautiful and the story was beautiful. And I did enjoy characters. Uh, but, um, yeah, I love the magic. So, of this book is like family and acceptance, which also reminded me of en Encanto. So, I thought this was really great. Okay, and that's all the story. That, yeah, that's all the stories I have for today. <laughs> that's all the things that I have for this list. Let me know if you're gonna do this. I will try to find the eventual post for this character hunt. So please like, comment, and subscribe so that you'll be notified every time I post. And I will see you in my next one. Bye!